Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to uh, compile and set up Raylib so it works in Microsoft Visual Studio. If you don't know what Raylib is, it is a simple and easy to use graphics rendering library for 2D and 3D, so you can use it for various graphical projects or even for games, even though it is not a fully fledged uh, game engine. More about that on the website though, I'll jump straight to business. So first let's clone or download the repository, I already have it, so I'll just unzip it. Now if you want to have the examples and games, I would recommend you to unzip it twice, once to keep the examples and games and once to leave them off, because there are more than 120 total examples, so the project files would look kinda messy. So let's rename this to examples and let's unzip it again. Now there is no need to install anything because if you're going to use uh, Visual Studio and you already have it installed, chances are you already have installed CMake which is what we're going to use. So let's open the CMake list.txt and these two options, build examples and build games, we will set them to off. So let's save and let's launch the command prompt. And now that we are in the directory, cmake dot, the dot means this directory. Now you could create a build directory and build Raylib there, but the problem with that is it looks kind of messy. I, I did it in the scarecrow folder. As you can see, there is a source folder that contains the Raylib source files. However, there's also a source folder in the build, which also contains Raylib.h because it contains the Raylib solution. So, if you do it like I did in the Raylib master, we now have only one source folder that contains the Raylib source files and the Raylib project in one place. Nevertheless, we are not interested in this. We want to look at the root folder for project.sln and build the old all built project. As you can see, it's built successfully. So now if you want to create a new project, instead of creating a totally new solution, I would recommend you to use this. So right click here, add new project, Windows console application. The reason why I recommend you to do it like this is because if you need to do some edits in the Raylib library, it is much easier from here than when you need to open a new solution, etc. Anyway, let's attach the project to the debugger so that if we click here, it will compile and launch this project and not something else. Right click, set a startup project. And now if I click the local Windows debugger, it compiles just fine. And launches Hello World as you can see. Nothing else happened because we have nothing else here. This is still not all though, because if I do include raylib.h you can see that it cannot open the source file. So we need to go to the source folder and copy this. Right click here, uh, oops, right click here, properties, C slash C plus plus, additional include directories. I usually do it for all configurations and all platforms, but if you want to specify it, suit yourself. This is still not all though. In Raylib, you are going to encounter some time where you need to edit the source code 
even if you only want to change some settings. So I'm going to click, uh, right click the ray lip static and uh, scope to this. And I'm going to search for config.h. For example, if you can see the the by default the file format JPEG is not supported. So if I want to support it, I need to change it here. But it is grayed out, and that means it is not used because, as you can see, there is if defined relib underscore CMake, which of course is since we built it with CMake, so it tries to open the config.h from a different folder. That is right. Raylib has two CMake fi uh, config files. One is in the source folder, as you can see here, config.h, which is this one. And another one is in the CMake folder that is here. However, it is severely outdated. Oops. It is severely outdated. It looks comp a little bit different and even uses undef, so there is no point in using it. But we can we can use this to demonstrate another thing that needs to be done because if I need if I just delete this to unlock this code, then this unlocks and now it is finally used. However, I am going to keep the end if here just for now because if I return home to see here and click the local Windows debugger now the program should not compile but it still compiles and the reason for that is uh, this is still not compiled so to make sure that if I compile uh, that if when I want to compile our project it checks that uh, the Raylib is compiled to the current version. We are going to right click the console application, add reference and Raylib static check. OK. And now if I try to compile the console application, it will crash. And as you can see, it even mentions the config age because of course, I left there the end if. So let's go to the config h and delete it. So now, if I save this and once again build the console application, now it compiles without any issues because the engine compiles successfully and I can build my project. So that would be it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the video uh, in the comments. Bye bye.